Right, so we're going to uh, use a little piece of um, trout and it's Scottish trout from one of the Highland locks. And I'm just going to sear it a little bit. So we're going to use some oregano, which is something that's not used too often, but it really does give a nice flavour. And then we put it into a pan and the pan is just lightly brushed on the bottom with butter and that's quite a low heat okay and we're going to have just a touch of salt on there So that's Scottish salmon, a Scottish trout, so it looks very much like salmon. A Scottish trout from a lock in Scotland. And what I've got is quite a low heat. It's going to be even lower. And then I encase it in the lid of a saucepan to keep the heat in. And we leave it like that. And we're going to give it probably about three minutes, I think. So um, not a lot to see at the moment. So we'll just pause and come back to you when she's nearly done. OK, so we've actually had a good six minutes with this particular pan. And there's our fish. Um, looking nice, looking wet, which is always a good sign. <laughs> and the next thing is, Trying to get it out the pan without scratching the bottom of the pan. It certainly hasn't stuck, which is interesting. If anything, it's just slightly overcooked. Maybe left it just a bit too long, which is a shame. Okay, and what we're going to add to the dish is just a little bit more salt along now to taste. in the earlier video we actually showed how we were cooking the mushrooms mm, pretty good and so there we have Two Polish gherkins, sliced obviously in half, a lemon, and our piece of Scottish lock trout from a Scottish lock with, with garlic, butter, mushrooms. Enjoy.